Ellie, I know we were talking about pollen earlier in Lisa's story. Right. I don't have allergies, mm -hmm. but let me tell you something. When I wake up and I see the pollen on my car, I feel like I'm ready for the rain to come next week. Just to wash it <laughs> Just away. Just to wash it away. <laughs> yeah. You're, you'd be glad you don't have seasonal allergies. Yeah. I'm Lots happy of us about that. do. Yeah. I'm one of the lucky ones. <laughs> you are. Uh, we are going to be dealing with some pollen this weekend, but also some really nice weather for the last week or yeah, the last weekend of April. It could be a better weekend. We'll have partly cloudy skies both today and tomorrow. I think more clouds today, a south breeze both days and temperatures in the 80s. Not much of a difference from yesterday. Low 80s today, mid 80s for Sunday. Uh, but beautiful weather if you're spending any time outside. The Indy Grand Prix race is tomorrow and their activities today, but the race is actually at noon tomorrow. Great weather for that event will be in the 70s through 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. And then once the race begins, upper 70s, very comfortable, warm south breeze. And then tomorrow afternoon, landing in the low to mid 80s. Here's the view over downtown Birmingham this morning. A lot of clouds in place. It's 70 degrees. It's not too muggy out there, but the moisture will be elevated over the next couple of days, especially with the south breeze. So you may notice that it feels just a little bit more humid than it has been. 70 degrees, that's pretty warm. Temperatures above average to start the day and to end the day later. Uh, 68 in Pell City, 67 in Anniston. There are some low 60s in Haleyville, Alabaster at 62, 65 Tuscaloosa. But across the board, a very mild start to the day. There were some severe storms in the Plain States yesterday, uh, just very uh, robust uh, storm system. And there's still some active storms north and west of us, but we have high pressure that is still dominating our forecast and shielding us from any of that activity. And so through the weekend, quiet and dry, clouds in place, yes, but we're not expecting any measurable rainfall. Over the next week, we don't expect any healthy rainfall, really averaging between and half of an inch, maybe an inch of rain. It's really too early to guarantee any of that. But this is some of our latest model guidance and actually bumping those numbers up over the past uh, run here. Birmingham is missing over two inches of rain since the early uh, since early March. And so we could definitely use some more falling behind. Here's a look at those rain chances. You will notice just a 10% on today and tomorrow. Very limited chance of just a spotty shower. Not going to bother you. By Monday evening, we are looking at increasing chances of rain and some thunderstorms. And next week does offer a few thunderstorms, especially through the middle of the week and the latter part of the week. Uh, but we don't expect a widespread washout at really any of these days.